What's up, gold diggers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play 4 Gold Rush. Okay. All right, guys. Last video, we started up our gold mining operation. This video, we're going to make it better. And just to be just to be perfectly clear, uh, this is not... The way I did it last video is not the way you want to set up on your first day in-game. At least not as the game consists right now. You basically want to take out a loan and do a much better setup. All right, I'm going to show you that setup today, but uh, first, let me just uh, come on over here and take a look around. Yep, yeah, okay. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to get rid of this, um, I forget, hog pan thing. I forget what it's called. We're going to get rid of this. We're going to get one with a pump, okay? Then we're going to buy a pump machine, and we're going to put it over here. We're going to have the water pumped out into the pump machine, then pumped into this thing. Bada bing, bada boom. We don't need any more water uh, put in by hand. And then after that, all we have to do is dig this, fill up all four mats and, with dirt, which will take a while, but I'll cut the video. And um, and that's it, man. Then we're going to be on the races. Uh, we're going to be on our way, all right? By the way, um, they, they did an update, and like a lot of this uh, stuff, you can't really... I'm having trouble colliding with it. Speaking of updates, yeah, big update, guys. Big freaking update. Uh, I There we go. I was like, oh, crap, my, 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 my truck's stuck. No, your truck's not stuck, Cage. You just have your parking brake on, you dumbass. Anyway... Big update today. Uh, I streamed this game for about four hours the other night. I had a lot of really good uh, people in my stream. Oh, actually, I'm going to do C. There we go. Uh, if you press C, all right, you start off with this view, right? If you press C, you go to a back view, but you, you can't swing your view around with the mouse. You have to back up to look back, and you can't look forward again. It's really kind of not a great... Uh, it's really not a great set of controls. You want to hit C again. Once you hit C again, then you can swing the mouse around and um, and have more of a traditional driving controls, which is the way I like it. So, anyway, I streamed this for about four hours the other night, uh, maybe three to four hours, right? I had a lot of people come in and give me all kinds of tips and everything. It was great. Uh, if you guys were at the stream, thank you very much for the tips. Really, really helped. I got quite far in the game, uh, and th this update is a huge update. All right, now. The reason I'm talking about the stream as much as I am is because a lot of some people in the stream were I don't know if they were confused or what they meant, but we a lot of people were asking me if this was early access. Now, I did some research on it, and uh, you know, is I don't know if this I don't know if they added it to the to this web page. I don't know if you can, but last I looked on the Steam page, there is no mention of early access. Okay, but a lot of people in my stream were calling it early access, and I'm like. Why are you guys calling it early access? Am I missing something? Where did you hear that? And no, it is not early access. The reason people are calling it early access is because it is really buggy and needs a lot of work. And they've actually been doing a lot of work. To, to their to their uh, credit, the developers have been doing a lot of work on it. All right, I've heard some rumors. I don't know how much this is true, guys. This is secondhand knowledge. But I heard some rumors that this game was um, possibly rushed because they wanted to get it out to coincide with the new season of the TV show. And I don't know if that's true. I don't know if the t I don't know if you know if the new TV show just came out. I really don't know. Although I do want to start watching it. It does sound pretty interesting. Um, you know, so it is what it is. Uh, but they are doing some hard work. That I, I just looked at the Steam page. They've been updating it like mad, and they just put in a new huge update with a lot of bug fixes and everything. And uh, we're gonna go over those updates, but we're not gonna do it right now because we are going. To, uh, I'm gonna do it while I'm digging because I'm gonna be doing a lot of digging, and you're not gonna see a lot of it because I'm actually gonna cut a lot of it out. But um, I am gonna show you some because that that'll be a great time to talk about the update. Okay. Expect the volume to be going up and down during the let's play, uh, at least for the next. Um, the next little while because I'm going to be messing around with it because I don't want it to be too low or too, too high. All right. So here we go. Okay, guys. So this is what you want to do when you first start playing the game. Now, the, 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 the developers, the developers are constantly changing the balance. As a matter of fact, this update I'm going to talk about today was a huge change in balance. So this stuff might not be as, might not be the best way to start up if they change the balance of the game. But as of right now, the best way to start up is to come to the bank and there's, there's different ways you could do this. The way I, I'm going to tell you the way I did it that worked for me. I borrowed three thousand dollars. Okay, uh, maybe I should just borrow four. No, no, three thousand dollars is good. Okay, we're gonna borrow three thousand dollars. The interest rate's gonna be ten percent. Uh, the daily charge is gonna be three thousand twenty-five. We don't want. We don't want to have to. We, we don't want to. Um, basically, you could pay it off in one shot. In which case, it's only twenty-five dollars. And every like every. By the way, an installment is one day. So every time you go up an installment, you have to pay them a little bit more. I'm going to go to 12 days. Should be it should be plenty of time. All right, so I'm going to borrow $3,000. When I pay it back, I'll have paid back another $164, okay? So we're going to go ahead and take that loan, okay? And then we're going to cancel and get out of there. We've now got $3,000, so we're going, to get in our, we're going to get in our truck, and we are going to start the engine, take off the parking brake, 
and we're gonna hit Q because you want to have the lock thing off, I guess, when on asphalt. Yeah, when on asphalt, you want the lock thing off. I don't know, I don't know the little, I don't, I still don't know what it means, but that's okay. I don't have to know. Oh boy, I can't, I always hit space bar to stop because that's that's what I'm used to being brakes in games, but that's not the brakes in this game. That's the um. That's the freaking emergency brake. <laughs> so that's why I just skid it out. That skid looked pretty cool, though, didn't it? All right. So we're going to come in here. We're, we're going to be uh, in stage one of our purchasing. Now, my stage one on day one was to buy um, a hog pan, no pump, the extension, and just, you know, a couple little di things like that, a couple mats or whatever, and do a lot of hand digging. What you want to do, as, is, as the game is right now, is you want to get the loan, get the hog pan pump, Okay, you want one of those. Get the uh, the hog pan sluice box. No, not the core. Sorry. The extension. We already have the core. Going to get the extension. Okay. Then we're going to need a pump, a uh, water pump, small. Okay. We're going to get one of those. We are going to get a water hose fat, P-H-A-T. It should be called P-H-A-T. Uh, water hose thin. The water hose fat goes from the water to the pump and it also goes from pump to pump the thin goes to the machines okay all right uh i don't think we're gonna need much else. oh yeah yeah we want the magnetite separator we might also want the wave no the wave table 6k never mind we'll wait for that all right so the magnetite separator and what this is gonna do is um we're gonna have to shovel into the hog pan pump until our mats by the way we're gonna need two more mats until our mats get up to now you can actually remember how storage slots six of nine wait what all right guys apparently um when stuff is on this little loading dock thing it still counts as part of your storage for stuff you just bought in the in this building so i just had to get everything that was on there in my truck so we're gonna go ahead and buy two buckets and one more mat and we should be good to go by the way uh I'm going to talk about the update later, but one of the things about the update that I hate the most... Um, actually, I really like the update, but I don't even hate this change. They basically made it so sprint is the default, and if you hold down shift, you walk. And it's really difficult. You know how hard it is for me to not hold down shift thinking I'm going to get more speed? It's just habit, you know? It's just complete habit. So, all right. Let me load up this truck, guys. And, oh, God, this, is, this has been a pain, by the way. Oh, I had it. I had it. There we go. Let me load up the truck, guys. I'll see you back at the claim. Well, guys, I'm learning an important lesson in save and save often. And I'm going to tell you guys in this game, if you're playing this game, save the game often. I've already crashed twice. Um, I thought it, sometimes OBS doesn't play well with uh, games, especially with new updates. So I think it might be OBS, so I'm actually recording in a different way now. So anyway, uh, by the way, I don't think I needed this thing. Uh, for this operation over here. I'm not sure exactly on some of this stuff, but I am going to need this for my next operation, which hopefully will be next video. Um, so we didn't waste any money or anything. It's just, you know, we'll be using it next time. Uh, we also don't need those two buckets yet. Okay, so let's set this bad boy up. All right, so first thing we got to do is take this one off. We never should have bought this. Uh, and we're going to put the pump, what is it called? Hog thing? I keep forgetting what it's called. Hog uh thing <laughs> i don't know whatever anyway we're gonna take the sluice pan uh, extension thingy put that on now we could put two more mats down having extra mats down is nice because as you as you have the 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 dirt and the water going through this thing uh the more mats you have they fill up at the same rate so having four is just twice as efficient as having two it's that simple really really cool uh, i'm gonna move this out of the way because i'm not gonna need this for a while by the way um as far as i can tell there's no fall damage in this game be what's going on here as far as i can tell there's no fall damage in this game because in between uh, cuts when i was moving stuff i accidentally made myself fly up into the air really really far <laughs> and i fell it didn't take any damage so that is nice that is really nice we need to get this water out of here is there any way to get it out of there without yeah whatever we'll leave it in there for now that's not really a concern i'll take care of that off camera i'll probably uh pan it out uh what else did i need to do speaking of panning let's uh keep track of where our pan is I'm going to put this stuff over here. I'll pan that the rest of that stuff out of there. There's not going to be a lot of gold in there. You guys told me that really quickly, I'll let you guys know that these mats, these mat percentages, aren't like the mats usage. I have thought that they were like the mats being used up and you'd have to replace them. But no, the percentage is the amount of material that the mat has caught. Okay? And the higher the percentage, the more gold you're going to get out of them. So you want to wait until those are really high. I'll probably go up to 100 on those, but I've counted. And it takes about five shovelfuls. For one percent 
So that's going to be 500 shovelfuls. Okay, so it's going to be quite a lot of work. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this uh, this big red thing. Oh, I didn't get any gas. All right, well, whatever. We'll go get some gas. It's not going to matter to you guys. I knew I was forgetting something, by the way. It's not going to matter to you guys because um, I'll cut out the uh, travel time. But I also forgot a filter. So we need a filter, okay? So we're going to put that there. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to get a filter, and then we're going to put the filter on this thing, and then we're going to drop it in the water. Then we're going to get gas, and we're going to fill this up. But we'll do the other stuff in the meantime. Right here, okay. So this um this thing right here is out, so we don't want to plug that in. We want to plug this to the in. All right, and then we'll grab this and kind of... If you want to uh, ro roll this back up, you, just, you can see right there on the screen, you just kind of hold down the right mouse click, and it'll kind of spool it back up. So, all right, so that's in. So that is right there. We'll just leave that uh, right there. We're going to put a, a filter on that, drop it in the water. The water will come into this thing. And then the out is going to be the small hose, right? And, oh, so I guess, okay, so the out, that's for the big hose. But these little ones are for out as well, I guess. Even though they're kind of on the inside. I guess the small hoses are always out. So anyway, we're going to take the outs and we're going to bring it over here. And we're going to connect it to the back. There you go. All right, so the water's going to come in through here. The, this is going to pump the water through here. The water's going to come out through here, come down here. And all we have to do is add the dirt. Okay, let me go to town and get some gas. All right, guys, we're just going to come in here and buy buy two two cans, I guess. Two, uh, what are they called, jerry cans or something like that? Um, where are they? There they are. Yep, jerry cans. So we're going to buy two of these. We should buy four. We should buy four. We'll just buy four, whatever. It's easy enough. Okay. So we're going to go and buy four of those, and uh, then we just have to go fill them up at the gas station. Okay, what I like to do is I like to come around here at the gas station and kind of just pull in right here. If you pull in right here, you don't even have to take the cans out of the vehicle, right? So we'll do that. We'll get out, and I'll just show you me filling one up. Then I'll fill the rest up, and I'll, I'll uh, get on out there and get back to the base or the, the claim. The, uh, it's so weird calling it a claim. I always want to call everything a base. Anyway, um, if you look right here on these uh, jerry cans, you see the little line right here? See that? See that line? That's to show you how uh, how full they are, right? So just pay attention to that line. All right, so we're going to grab the little uh, hose thingy here, and we're going to put it right there, and then we're just going to fill it on up. Fill her up. Refuel. Okay, now you see the line? It's all red. That's how you know that it's full. Oh, my freaking God. Wow, guys. That was some serious, serious, like, hardcore game crashes and restarting the world. Um, I crashed another two times. Uh, trying to get this stuff back here, and then my my it, the game blue screened my machine. Okay, uh, pretty rough update. Pretty rough update. And when I came back, my save file had a big question mark over it, and it wouldn't load. So I basically restarted the game. Now I'm glad I did. Um, since I restarted the game, zero issues. The game is uh, working just flawlessly now, and that is awesome. So I got my gas containers over here. I got my buckets over here. Uh, we set, I reset this up, bought everything, started a new game, bought everything, took out the loan, basically did everything you guys already saw. Um, I actually filled this up at the gas station. I didn't even realize you could do that, so that was pretty cool. And I also, um, I, I came all the way back here with all my stuff, and I forgot the damn, I forgot the damn filter again. Had to go all the way back to town. Man, it's such a small thing. That's why I forget it, I guess. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, so I got my filter. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and hook this thing up. All right, don't forget intake right here. That's where you want this thing to go in. Then we're going to drop that on the ground. Then we're going to take the filter, put the filter on there, like so. Nope, there we go. And I guess that's to make sure you don't get any big, like, rocks or impurities or anything into the system. All right, so you can see right there the, the little water thing is turned green. So remember, if you have an in if you have a hose going out to your one of your machines, you need these uh, small hoses. So we're going to go ahead and plug that in right there. Bring this over here. Oops, went too far. Kind of, yeah, there we go. Now we can plug it in. So there you go. That's pretty cool. All right, now this thing should have water coming to it um, once we turn this thing on. So let's go ahead and pull the little uh, rib cord here. There we go. And that thing's now on, and this thing has now got water coming through it. Now all we have to do is add dirt. So let's go ahead and uh, grab our shovel, get in a good position here, and let's go ahead and dig some dirt and put it in there. Every shovel full is going to give us nothing. I think it's five shovelfuls for 1%, unless they change it, which I don't think they did, but... Let's see. Oh, no. Wow, we've already got 1%. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if they changed it. Maybe they did. They, I didn't. I don't think I saw anything about them changing that. But they did a lot of rebalancing, so. All right, there we go. Okay, so 2%. Let's see how many shovelfuls for a percent. It used to be 5. I know, I counted multiple times. So that's 1, 2, 
three. Wow, three. Okay. It went from five shovelfuls to three. Well, that is wonderful, guys. That is wonderful. So this is going to be great. Okay. So while I'm shoveling... Now, this is incredibly boring stuff I'm going to cut out. But I do have the updates to talk to you guys about. So let me go ahead and talk about... Let me go ahead and talk about the updates. I turned that down quite a bit. I'm surprised I had to. Um, but again, I'm going to be playing around with the sound as we go along. Let me know what you think of the sounds at, you know, different times when I change them. And, you know, I'll adjust as needed. Anyway. All right. So the update. This is a big update. All right. Let's take a look at the balance changes. Workers gold earn change from 15 to 130. Workers gold earn change from 15 to 130. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like it went up quite a bit. It sounds awesome. I can't wait to get workers. Loader brakes are stronger now. I have no idea what that means. Loaders should ride better on altitude. Have no idea what that means. Trailer price decreased from 1900 to 1000. That's pretty cool. I know I understand that. Uh, by the way, this is so much faster. They really really made this a lot quicker. All right. Um, what else? Bucket price decreased from 20 to 5. And then there's other there's others. Now, you can go on their Steam page and see the full update notes. There's a lot of bug fixes I'm not going to get into. If you're interested in this stuff, you can definitely go back. You can definitely go over there and check them out. Uh, this thing doesn't seem to be changing now. Hold on. Let me do a quick counting before we go on with the thing. One. Two. I'm wondering if, they, I wonder if it changes as, as the things get higher in percentage. Three. Oh, okay. So it seems like... Either it's random, or as these things go up in percentage, it takes more shovelfuls. I'll keep an eye on that as I do this. Anyway, um, other uh, update notes. Additional camera for a big extractor. Uh, I love the extractor. Um, I, don't, I never like knew what an extractor was. An extractor is also a backhoe. and that, I know it is a backhoe. At least I think, it, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, uh, what else? What else? What else? Side of the roads where flattened, and where flattened and collisions were changed to prevent pickup trucks stuck. So they basically made the roads easier not to get stuck. Going to main menu from the game that requires additional confirmation. Gold nugget, gold nugget event. Okay, we haven't talked about the gold nugget event. I was gonna actually do it as like um, a surprise, but you know, I guess it's um, cats out of the bag now. All right. So what's gonna happen is when you get up to one ounce of gold, there's gonna be a game event where you find a giant gold nugget, and it's worth like fifty thousand, um, fifty thousand dollars, and that like propels you to tier three. Um, as far as I understand from this game, and I could be wrong about this, I kind of find this um, this setup, if I had the one without the pump, is tier 1. And then the this is this would be tier 2, and tier 3 is when you get the extractor, and we'll be doing that probably next video. Um, I could be wrong about that. There's a lot of stuff about this game I don't know. But it basically just propels you to the next part of the game. Now, when I, when I was... Um, here, let's do another count on shovelfuls, because I'm curious if it's going up as I dig. Alright, so that was 14, so that's 1 two three okay so that was three so it seems like three to four shovelfuls i don't think it's going up as we fill it up this is going up way faster guys i did this on stream it took forever this is way quicker anyway all right so the, the main event so or i'm sorry not the, the main event the gold uh gold nugget event okay now here's the thing you could skip the gold nugget event, gold nugget event if you want I, I was debating on it, okay? Because it really propels you through a big part of the game. Um, although you're really not missing anything. You're just missing out more grinding. And maybe um, maybe some, like, um, intermediate, like, upgrades. Um, the Gold Nugget event gives you a big upgrade. Now, as a YouTuber, if I was just playing this game, I probably wouldn't do the Gold I would probably decline it, okay? But as a YouTuber, I, I'm going to do the Gold Nugget event. First of all, all my other YouTuber brethren have already done it. And, I'm, you know, I want to keep up. I want to I wanna do stuff that's new and exciting. And I don't want to be, like, shoveling dirt for like a three or four more videos than you know some other people because you know i decided not to do the event now to be fair the other youtubers didn't have a choice okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the event this time and then i'm thinking next time maybe i won't do the event and we'll see what it's like uh when you don't when you don't do the event by the way the uh, digging seems faster too all right so what else do we have here okay walk run has been switched oh my god so now if you hold down shift you walk man that is killing me as a as an fps guy from way back holding down shift Changing hold down shift to, to walk is just killing me, <laughs> but I'm getting used to it. Uh, warning prompt in main menu and hardware does not meet minim minimal requirements. Code horizon logo is visible in main menu and money cheat is blocked. Why would they block the money cheat? Like, who cares? Like, if someone wants to, uh, by the way, save often. If someone wants to cheat, what? who cares, you know? What does that matter? Let them cheat. This isn't multiplayer, you know? Speaking of multiplayer, is this game going to be multiplayer? I don't know. Um, there's a, there's a whole contingent of people on the internet that want multiplayer, and there's a lot of people that don't want multiplayer, and it's and it spans from game to game. 
Um, it goes between this game, Subnautica, uh, uh, Stranded Deep, uh, Subsistence, and the people who argue against multiplayer say that it takes away from the developer spending time on single player. Um, I don't really care about multiplayer either way. I kind of want multiplayer, but if, if it doesn't come in, it's not really a big deal. I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of lukewarm on that either way. You know, it's uh, if you can hire people, I don't really need multiplayer, I guess. But if they added it, it could be pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that is all the updates. Again, go to the uh, Steam page for the game if you want to see the full update notes. There was a lot of bug fixes and everything in there. And if you're like me and you're having problems in your game, you know, I wasn't that far along. Not really a big deal for me. But you might want to. You might. You might be really far along, and you might want to keep going. But um, I started over, and I'm really glad I did. The game's running smoother than ever. Uh, the driving is smooth. Um, I'm not getting caught up on stuff as much as I was. The game feels ten times better than it did two days ago, which was the last time I played it. Um, so I'm big, I'm big time on the update. I'm really glad I updated. And, uh, but you know, if you're really far along, you might be less inclined anyway. All right. I'm going to get all these mats up to a hundred percent guys. Uh, so let me continue digging and I'll see you when I'm done. All right, guys, here we are. All the mats are at a hundred percent. So let's turn everything off. I'll show you how to turn this bad boy off. You just hit the little red button there. All right. That'll stop all the water. Eventually should slow down. There we go. It stopped. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bucket right here. We're going to fill it up with water. And once we've done that, we're going to bring it over here. And we're going to dump each mat in there once. Now, I've heard people tell me different things about these mats. People tell me, Some people told me to do the mats repeatedly. Like, keep doing them. Uh, dunk them multiple times. But uh, then other people told me to just take one mat and dunk each one in there once. So, that was the last thing I heard. That's the last thing people told me on stream. Like, everyone on stream that, like, knew the game said, just just dunk the mats once. All right? As you can see, when you dunk them, they go from 100% to 0%. So, I'd, I'd assume dunking once is all you want to do. Because if you dunk the same mat repeatedly, I think the water gets more dirty and you can't, like, get all of the mats in there or something. I don't know. It's a little weird. But um, I'm just going to dunk the mats once. And we will see where things go from here. Remember, we need to make one ounce we need to make one ounce. Now, the, as far as I understand, you have to keep digging until you get $28,000 for an excavator. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I'd want to dig out of here until I get $28,000. That might be a little long. So, I don't know. I think the Gold Nugget event might be worth it. <laughs> I'm going to take it either way. But, um, as far as I know, the only way you can, um, the only way you, you can not have to dig by hand is to use the excavator. So... Um, and that's $28,000. Okay, so here we go. Let's do some panning. All right, so we're just going to kind of dunk this a little bit. There we go. Get a little bit of water in there. Shake it up. Shake it, shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up till it's nice and nice and dirty. Oh, my God, that's some dirty-ass water, man. All right, now we're going to dump the water out. If you dump it out, uh, like, on the opposite end, you see how there's, like, little rivets there? They'll, uh, they'll kind of, like, uh, help the gold not fall out. So you can see right there we go. See? And look at all that gold. We could just start picking some up right now. Um, I think. There we go. And that is a nugget because we just picked it up. And we got 0 0.5 basically. So if you pick it up with the little tweezers, that means it's a nugget. And that's a bigger one. If you pick it up with the, the little bottle, that means it's dust. And I think it means it's less. All right. Come on. There we go. Shut up, timer. We're not done yet. You don't tell me what to do. This is going to be a longer video for sure. Maybe I'll cut some of this gold stuff out. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at this. We're already up to almost two. We're almost up to 0.2 ounces. There we go. Two, 0.25 ounces. We're a quarter of the way there. Beautiful. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, rinse some more out, uh, possibly. I found that, like, I usually get all the gold on the first rinse. I don't seem to get more when I rinse when I rinse them out multiple times, but who knows? Maybe maybe they change stuff. Don't know. All right, so that looks like I didn't get anything more. So I'm trying to uh, separate the gold here. Another way you could do it is kind of go like up on those ridges like this, and then kind of uh, pull it back. And sometimes the gold will get stuck on there. You see, and that's exactly what those ridges are for. So you can see right there that it's a perfect example of what those ridges are for. Textbook, textbook, people. All right, we're a third of the way there. Okay. I think one ounce is $1,200 usually. Do I have that right? I think so. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, rinse this one more time just to see if we get anything else. 
but I don't think we are. It's weird that when I when I dunk it in there, it comes up dirty. I don't know why it's doing that. It's supposed to come up clean, and then if you rinse... Okay, yeah, there's no more gold in there. All right, so that's how you get the gold, guys. I'm going to do the rest of it off camera because this video is getting a little long. And uh, we'll come back when we've got one ounce, and then we will get our big-ass nugget. Okay, guys, so this is a rare event. I actually uh, got more gold on the second slushing or swishing or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, yeah, I got more gold the second time doing it. That never happens. Never happens to me. Um, so that is really nice. So don't just uh, think you got all the gold the first time. Make sure you keep uh, keep going at it. And go a couple times. If you don't get any gold, then you can call it and move on to the next um, the next panful. But might do it. There we go. You're lucky. I've never seen anything like it. It's the biggest gold nugget. <laughs> the biggest gold nugget I've seen in 40 years of my experience as a miner. Well, you haven't been watching YouTube. Um, I hope it's not just beginner's luck and you'll use it wisely to stop shoveling and start using proper machines. See, that's the thing. The excavator is $28,000. And if you shovel your way to $28,000, man, oh, that's rough. That's rough. All right. Anyway. Uh, check what you need to run a mobile wash plant. And don't forget about an excavator. Even the smaller one should be okay. All right. Okay. There we go. So we now have 40,000 gold, uh, 40,000 ounces. All right, guys. This video is going long, but I think we want to sell our gold before the end of the video. So let's do this. Um, what you want to do with your gold before you sell it is you want to turn it into a gold bar. Anyway, you're going to come over here to the blacksmith. You're going to come right here. You're going to turn all your gold into a gold bar. This is going to cost me $400. I'm going to lose a little bit of gold. That is fine. That is all my gold. Melt the gold bar. Now we got a little bit of gold bar right here. Pretty cool, right? And then we're going to do what we're going to do. What do you do with a gold bar? You throw it in the back of your truck. You know, it's only like a $50,000 gold bar. We'll just throw it in the back right there. You know, no big deal. From what I understand, and I've never tested this, but from what I understand, uh, it doesn't matter where the gold bar is in the game. Uh, if you go to the bank, you can sell it. So, for all I know, you could leave it right here on the ground and just go to the bank and sell it. So, but, well, you know, for to try not to break immersion, we're not going to do that. We're going to take the actual gold bar to the bank. We're going to sell it, and then next episode, we are going to buy a whole bunch of new stuff, guys. We're going to buy a whole bunch of new stuff. What you just saw me do, not going to be doing that anymore. Hells No. All right, we're going we're gonna to get a bunch of equipment out there. It's going to be awesome. Okay, so right here, sell gold bars right there. It doesn't tell you how much you're going to get. doesn't matter. We sold the bar and get out of this. Okay, now we have $49,998. Now, I think I paid back the loan. I'm not really sure how to pay back the loan. Loan taken. Okay, I have no idea how to pay back this loan. Um, I can't do anything else on here. Take a loan, cancel. I can't do anything else here. I'm assuming that they're going to take their money back automatically. Okay, so we got $4,900. That's going to be good enough to get us everything we want to get for the next uh, set of machinery. We're going to have big machinery next time, guys. We're going to be using an extractor. Um, we're not going to be digging anymore. We're going to be controlling big machinery. It's going to be freaking epic. All right, guys. So let me know if you like this this uh, this Let's Play because I'd really love to do more uh, of, this, of this Let's Play. And I hope you guys are enjoying it because I really want to do more. Let me know with the likes and the comments and all that good stuff. And um, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.